Yo, 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 Insta gang. Basically, if you're watching this, you're the real MVP. Um, basically, right now, um, it's like 12, 15 or something, and I just had to make this document because this is this is a thing that's actually happened, and pretty much on social media, you don't see the setbacks, the shit, the shitty things that happen to people. You always see the successes. You don't see the failures, so I just want to document the failures. I want to document every single thing that happened, and... So I'm going to keep this short and pretty much I had a chat or found out that my, let's say my quotation marks ex has moved on and has developed other feelings for other people and you know, nothing wrong with that at all, nothing wrong, perfectly fine and I'm happy for her, genuinely, but from within me it's a bit, you know, I'm, I was like, oh, it's like, you know, it's a bit, of a, it's a shitty feeling, you know, knowing that, that a person that you used to like pretty much has moved on and you know. It's a pretty shitty feeling, but gen I'm genuinely happy for her. Good on her, like, you know, fuck me dead. Good on her. But for me, it's like, you know, on top of that, just had some, just suffered a family emergency, so that's been a bit shitty to deal with. And on top of that, just the expectations of running a business and trying to get it successful and all that jazz that's been going on. And also just feeling lonely. Like, I don't talk, I don't fuck with nobody, like, I don't, I, like, you would think I'm a really social person, but I legitimately don't talk to anyone, so, it's like, you know, I, you know, there's that feeling of being lonely, but the family's pretty good, like, I love the family, so that's been helping me out, but that's just one of the things I gotta work with, and, you know, losing someone that I could talk to, aka the ex, and that's just affecting me more, so, I don't know, pretty much, I'm in a bit of a shitty mood, and this is where I need to practice what I preach. I need to, which is gratitude. That, look, I'm still alive. I'm, I can fucking hold a phone and talk to you guys and share it with the fucking internet. I have a fucking hand. I have fucking light in my room. Like, I'm not cold. I have a heater on my, in my room. Like, what else do I need? I have food. I have water. Shelter. Like, what the fuck am I complaining about? Shit happens all the time. So, basically, a new fire has set within me. I'm like, fuck, I am so fortunate. <laughs> I'm, I'm young. I have, the, I have my whole life ahead of me. I genuinely think I can change the world. I will change the world. Like, fucking mark my words. I will fucking change the world. I'm devoting my life to just fucking change the world. Um, I am also self-aware at the same time. This could be just be a mood. Like, you know, I'm obviously upset and... Trying to use that negative energy and convert it into positive energy. So I'm like, let's fucking go change the world. Which I really want to do, so. And I will do. So this this is probably a phase or something. But my end goal at the end of the day is to just fucking change the world. Like, that, you know. That's just pretty much it. And pretty much, if you if you still made it to the end of the video. Like, fucking, thank you so much. Like, I owe you the fucking world. Like, um, thank you for so much. And if anything shitty happens in your life. Try your, I know, I know, I, I can't say this, but try to convert it into positive energy any way you can. Because truly, the alternatives suck. Being negative sucks. Complaining sucks. The only thing you can do is move forward and convert it into negative energy, be, positive energy. Because as we all know, energy cannot be created, bam, 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 or destroyed. So you got to convert that shit. So that's pretty much my pitch. Love you guys. Peace, love, positivity. Gang, gang.